What's up you guys, it's Deepoy and today we will create this awesome 3D text effect in Photoshop. So we will be using Photoshop's 3D option for this tutorial. But if you want to see how to create 3D text without using Photoshop's 3D, then we have already created some videos on the similar topic and the link for those videos will be in the description below. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as new and then you can set the width to around 1920 pixels, height as around 1080 pixels and then set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then you can set the color mode as RGB color. Now let me just expand this advanced option and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default and then you can click on create. Now the next thing we need to do is fill this document with that of a grey color. So for that click on create new filler adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color and then you can set the color as follows B0, B0, B0 and then you can click on OK. So now as you can see now we have filled the document with that of a grey color. Now the next thing we need to do is type in our text. So for that select horizontal type tool. And then you can select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I'm choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop the link for that is in the description as well. And then you need to set any appropriate size for your text. I'm setting it to 120 point. And then you can click on the foreground color. And then set any random color at the moment which will be the color of our text. Anyways we are going to change it later on. So I'm setting the color as black at the moment. And then you can click on OK. After that using the horizontal type tool you can click on the document and then type in any text of your choice. So once you have typed your text after that you can click on this tick icon in order to place it. Now the next thing we need to do is scale this text vertically a little bit. So for that we need to bring up the transform tool. So for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t and then press shift and then you can scale the text vertically as follows by pressing shift you can scale the text unevenly so this much scaling is looking perfect after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it now the next thing we need to do is place this text at the center of the document so for that select move tool and then using move tool you can place the text at the center as follows so now as you can see now our text has been placed at the center of the document. Now the next thing we need to do is convert this text into a 3D. So for that right click on the text layer and then go at the bottom and then select the option as new 3D extrusion from selected layer. So now as you can see now we are into a 3D workspace. Now the next thing we need to do is make the top text layer active by clicking on it. That layer will be named based on the text which you have saved which is text for me so I am clicking on it. And then in the properties panel something like this will be visible. After that you need to click on the drop down of the shape preset. And then select the option as bevel frame. And then set the texture mapping as scale. And then set the value of the extrusion depth to around 320 pixels so let me just do that. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. So now as you can see now our text is looking somewhat like this. Now the next thing we need to do is change the color of the front text. So for that select the option as front inflation material. So once you click on the front inflation material, your properties panel will look something like this. After that you need to click on the drop down of the material picker. And then you need to scroll at the bottom and then find a material with plastic glossy blue. So let me just do that. So as you can see the icon of your material will look something like this. So let me just select it. So once you select that plastic glossy blue material, you can keep the values of that material as it is. So as you can see after applying the material, your text is looking somewhat like this. After that we need to change the color of the border of the text. So for that select the option as front bevel material. 
Now after selecting the front bevel material, your properties panel will look something like this. After that you need to click on the drop down of the material picker. And then in the materials panel you need to find a material name metal gold. So let me just do that. So this is the material which we were looking for. So let me just select it. So once you select the metal gold material, you can keep the values of the settings as default. So now as you can see now your text is looking somewhat like this. Now after that we need to apply some color onto the depth of our text as well. So for that select the option as extrusion material. So once you select the extrusion material, your properties panel will look something like this. After that you need to click on the drop down of the material picker. And then you need to select the material as organic orange pill. So as you can see this is the material which I was talking about so let me just select it. So once you apply that organic orange pill material, you can keep the values of its settings as it is. So now as you can see now your text will look something like this. Now after that you need to go to the layers tab. Now in the layers tab you need to go at the bottom and then make the color fill layer active by clicking on it. And then right click on the color fill layer and then select the option as postcard. Now we need to combine this color fill layer and the text layer into a single layer. So for that go at the top and then press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this text layer which will give you the selection of the text layer as well as keep the selection of the color fill layer active. After that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus E which will combine the two selected layers into a single layer. So once you combine both the layers your image should look something like this. Now after that we need to render this 3D text. So for that all you need to do is click on the render icon over here. So now this rendering might take up some time. It depends upon the performance of your PC. So now after Photoshop taking its own sweet time. Your image should look something like this. Now after that we need to rasterize this layer. So for that right click on the layer and then select the option as rasterize 3D. And then we need to create a duplicate of this rasterized layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then we need to hide this duplicate layer. So for that click on the eye icon in order to hide it. And then we need to make the original rasterized layer active by clicking on it. Now the next thing we need to do is remove all the blue color from the text and fill it with a grey color. So for that we need to get the selection of that portion of the text. So for that select magic wand tool. And then using the magic wand tool you need to click on that blue color of the first letter of the text which will give you its selection. So let me just do that. So now as you can see now we have the selection of the blue color in the first letter. Now we need to get the selection of the blue color in the other letters as well. So for that all you need to do is press shift and then click on the blue color of the second letter which will give you its selection. And then again press shift and then click on the blue color of the third letter. So like this way you need to get the selection of the blue colors in all of the letters. So let me just do that. So once you have all the selections, after that you need to click on the foreground color and then set the color as follows 82, 82, 82 and then you can click on OK. So now we need to fill the selection with that of the foreground color. So for that press Alt or Options on Mac plus Backspace or Delete key on your Mac. Now the next thing we need to do is bring back that blue color near the edges of the text. So for that make the duplicate layer active by clicking on it. And then unhide it by clicking on the checkbox. After that go to select. And then modify. And then select the option as contract. And then you can set the value of the contract by 2 5 pixels. And then you can click on OK. So as you can see we have contacted the selection by 5 pixels. Now after that we need to invert this selection. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus Shift plus I key of your keyboard. So once you have inverted your selection, after that all you need to do is click on add layer mask icon. So now as you can see now we have that blue color near the edges of the text. Now after that we need to increase the glow of the text a little bit more. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as hue and saturation. And then you need to set the value of the saturation to around 60. And then you can keep the value of the hue and lightness as it is. 
Now let me just show you the before and after of this UN saturation. So this was the before and now this is the after. Now the next thing we need to do is change the color of the entire text as well as background. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as color balance and then select the tone as mid tones and then set the value of the cyan red as plus 100 magenta green as 0 yellow and blue as minus 100 so now let me just show you the before and after of this color balance so this was the before and now this is the after so now as you can see now our text is looking so much better now let's enhance this text a little bit more and reduce the color noise as well so for that we need to merge all the layers into a single layer so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus alt or options on mac plus shift plus e key of your keyboard so now as you can see a new merge layer has been created now after that we need to convert this layer into a smart object so that later on we can edit it non-destructively so for that right click on the layer and then select the option as convert to smart object so once your layer has been converted into a smart object after that go to filter and then select the option as camera raw filter now in the pop-up you need to select the basics of the camera raw filter and then you need to set the value of the temperature to around 15 tint as 10 exposure as 0 contrast to around plus 20 highlights as 0 shadows to around plus 40 whites as 0 blacks as 0 and then the value of the texture to 0 as well and then set the value of the clarity to minus 30 dehaze to 0 and vibrance to plus 20 so once you're done with the settings after that you need to click on this details icon and then you just need to change the value of the luminance which is under noise reduction and then set the value of the luminance to around 45 and then you can keep the rest of the things as default and then you can click on ok so now as you can see now this is looking so much better so yeah that's it guys that's the final image I hope you guys like this video on how to create this 3D text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps us in deciding which topics you want to watch more. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.